Hi, and welcome to Man's Matters, the erectile dysfunction and Peyronie's disease shockwave clinic. Today, I want to discuss Peyronie's disease and genetics. One question posed by a number of our patients is whether Peyronie's disease runs in our genes or not, and whether it is something that could be experienced by other family members. Over the past 40 years, a number of studies have been undertaken, but none have definitively shown genetics as a cause for Peyronie's disease. However, there are a number of factors that support the theory that genetics play a part in the onset of Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's disease has a far higher occurrence in Caucasian men than in other ethnic groups. Like other diseases found in specific ethnicities, for example, cystic fibrosis, the higher prevalence suggests the presence of a founder mutation. Peyronie's disease is known as a fibroproliferative disease. With Peyronie's disease, a fibrous plaque develops in the envelope that stretches the length of the penis. There is a strong correlation with other fibroproliferative diseases, such as Dupuytren's contracture, which is a deformity of the hand, where knots of tissue form under the skin, which develop into thick cords that pull one or more fingers into a bent position. Up to 15% of men who suffer with Dupuytren's contracture also have been found to have Peyronie's disease. And Dupuytren's contracture is often found in families with a high prevalence of Peyronie's disease. This overlap of symptoms suggests a common genetic predisposition. Many men can remember a traumatic event such as being injured during sex or being hit by a cricket ball that triggered off their Peyronie's disease. However, very few men go through life without at some stage being injured and experiencing severe pain in their private parts, but only a few develop Peyronie's disease. This suggests that some individuals are ready primed to develop the disease in response to a trauma, whereas others can experience a major trauma and not develop the condition. This too suggests there is a greater link to genetics. But the bigger question, rather than genetics, is what a man suffering Peyronie's disease can do about the condition. For years, the answer was to leave the condition for 18 months, use a penile pump to stretch the penis, then when the condition has stabilized, go under life-changing surgery to straighten and shorten the penis. But a new groundbreaking treatment, focused shockwave therapy, is becoming the gold standard for Peyronie's disease treatment and is widely discussed in our other videos. Focused shockwave therapy targets the fibrous plaque which causes the bend in the penis, reduces the pain and increases the girth and length of the penis. To learn more about our shockwave treatments, visit our websites at mansmatters.co.uk and peronisdisease.co.uk and check out our YouTube channel's video, Peyronie's Disease Cure. These provide a comprehensive overview on all treatment options and a detailed animation of the shockwave therapy.